Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to show a little bit of uh, shuffling techniques on the best way to shuffle, the best way to um, not get called on for, you know, maybe maybe you're, maybe you're uh, playing against your opponent and he's like, I think he's stacking his deck. I don't really know. I would rather have a judge shuffle it. You know, kind of a way to keep the judges from coming over and looking at your deck and asking to shuffle it because your opponent is not sure what you're doing. So, the best way to shuffle is with the riffle shuffle. Like this, being able to shuffle and do that, that is the best way to shuffle. So apparently, back in the 50s, I wanna say, there was a study saying that shuffling it this way seven times was the best way to randomize your deck. And the reason for that is, one, you're of course stacking them, or not stacking them, but you're shuffling them, you're spreading them out throughout the deck. And also, when you fan them like this, you're going to be skipping cards. You're not gonna be shuffling one after the other, left, right, left, right, left, right. You're sometimes gonna get two in there, you're sometimes gonna get three in there. Um, so that is the absolute best way to shuffle the deck. It's going to randomize it the best. It's going to give you the best odds of getting the same amount or of getting a random amount of cards. So you're looking for certain cards. You're looking for, you know, whatever. The best way to randomize that and make sure that you have a chance of drawing that combination of cards the same as every other combination is by the riffle shuffle like this. Um, now you can also shuffle like this. This is called oh, called the mass mash shuffle. Um, I do this. I shuffle this way sometimes. I don't always. Uh, typically, I use it as a added technique to the way I am already shuffling. So typically, what I'll do is starting a game, grab my deck, and I'll shuffle like this. I'll give this two, three, four shuffles, depending on, you know, if, the, if, it's, if it's the second round of the game and we're needing to hurry up because of time, you know, I may not do this as much as if I would, you know, say before the time is called, before the round has started, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm shuffling. And then I'll typically do this number right here. I'll typically do this, get a few more cards in here, um, a few mashes in here. This is not a true way to randomize it because you're wind up clumping cards together. What I've noticed that if you'll take a few cards and like, let's see, we got Choice Band, Escape Rope, Slugma, Volcano, and Ho-Oh. Put them on the top. Typically, you can do this right here. And if you're paying attention, which I wasn't just then, but if you're paying attention, one, you can either look at the bottom of the deck while you're doing that. You can flip it up, see everything that goes on the bottom. You're not supposed to, that is cheating because you are stacking your deck. But you can do that and get in trouble for it. So don't do that, but so what I'm saying is you don't wanna get the judge called on you. So best to riffle shuffle like this. But if you do have cards on the top, say you're looking for a Slugma, Cynthia, Macargo GX, whatever it is, and you shuffle like this, you can almost guarantee to get yourself what you want from where you place it at. There's a Slugma, don't know if it's the same one. Pretty close though. Um, basically, don't do that. The way I do it is I typically riffle shuffle this thusly, like this. Put a few shuffles in, usually five, six, four, depending on the time. And then I'll do this number right here, shuffling and turning my head, you know, just trying not to look at the cards, turning them like this, because I do not want to be accused of cheating. I'm not a cheater, never have cheated at this game, and I'm not ever gonna start. Um, there are another ways to shuffle. One of those is the pile shuffle. You could do it like this. This is not a true way to randomize your cards either. Now, if you have gone through your deck and you have, say you've sorted everything, you've put all the Pokemon, you've sorted all the supporters, sorted all the items, then this right here is a good way to start the randomization process. So you know you've got a Pokemon and a supporter just about in every pile. You go, you started out, you had all your Pokemon on top. That means the bottom, every bottom of one of these piles is a Pokemon. So every 10 cards, you've got a Pokemon. That is, uh, 
you know, of course, if you left it like that, that is of course cheating, but you're not going to. You're gonna do the right thing and you're gonna shuffle. So what you do, you pick them up and then you start the riffle shuffle like this, getting all those cards truly randomized. Uh, it keeps them from being clumped together, pile shuffling them, if you have already stacked them in your deck, you know, maybe you're counting them, maybe you're, maybe you uh, went to, the, you're going to a regionals, you're getting your deck list put together, you're trying to submit it, and so you've got all your Pokemon, everything separated out, so that you can easily enter it into the website, and then you can pile shuffle, and then start the riffle shuffle, and then maybe add some mashes in there, you know, like this, just to give it a little bit more, you know, of a feel, I guess. It doesn't really do anything as well as the Riffle Shuffle. Um, cutting it, always offer it to your opponent. Um, keep an eye on him. Make sure he's cutting it. If you see his deck and he is doing this and he has been shuffling like this the entire time, always, always, I try to always pick their deck up and either do a couple of mass shuffles myself or I've actually done riffle shuffles. I realize that people are worried about it damaging their cards and they don't want it to happen. I've got a few cards in here. I've got a few um, full arts in here. You know, maybe you don't want to get that bent. You don't want to tear it up. In my opinion, if you don't want that to happen, you shouldn't be playing it at a regionals or at any other kind of tournament because that is what happens. You have to offer your opponent, you have to offer your deck to your opponent to cut it. They don't like, if they don't like the Riffle Shuffle, they don't think it's randomized, they think you were able to stack it or at least get it reasonably close to what you wanted, then they ought to be able to pick it up and do a Riffle Shuffle like that. Um, I'm not, not very big on not shuffling my opponent's deck. Uh, cheating is not a big deal in the Pokemon trading card game. Uh, people do cheat. It has happened, people have been banned. There was a guy, it's usually Greninja players, believe it or not. But there's people that's banned um, Worlds last year, uh, the second place the second place winner at Worlds was banned for cheating because he was stacking the top card of his deck. And the way he was doing that, say he wanted this welder, he had it on top, and the way he was shuffling is every time he would cut the deck, or every time he would riffle it, he would make sure that that card stayed on top. Now I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to. I don't know how to shuffle cards like that. But somehow, maybe he was doing it like this. That's what it was. He would grab it with his thumb, pull it back, and shuffle it. See, and that way that welder stays on top every time. Now the way I'm doing it is very obvious. You know, it's obvious I'm pulling that card back. Don't do that. Don't don't cheat at all. It's not fun. It ruins the game for everyone. No one likes it. No one enjoys it. Um, but anyway guys, that's pretty much it. Riffle Shuffle is the best. It will randomize your deck the best. It will ensure that the combination of cards that you have coming out is the best cards that you can get. Um, it may mulligan you, it may dead draw you, but it randomizes it to a way where you are, pos you are able to draw, you have the same likelihood to draw every card in your deck that there is. So, so you, you know, if you have a chance to draw two fire energies and a victini in your opening seven shuffling it like that ensures that you also have a chance to draw two guzmas and a cynthia or a victini and a cynthia the combinations are limitless at that point you have a you have a they're not limitless because there's only 60 cards in the deck but you have a very high high count of the possibility of cards that you can draw but anyway guys that's it for the video Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I now have a Twitter. It's at uh, CasualTCG if y'all want to follow me on there. I'll be posting periodically as often as I can. If I go live or anything like that, I will be sure and send out a tweet letting everybody know what's going to happen beforehand. So if you want to know when I'm going to go live, check it out on there, and we'll see you next time.